Hello, so for this assignment, I actually thought that it would be best if I just grabbed my red backpack. Red is my color. Like, I love my red shirt. I painted the roof, well, my ceiling red. I love, like, the color red. I even have Jordans that are red. I have clothes. My, like, half of my clothing is, like, red. So, like, I just thought that my old bag would be perfect if it was red. Because you can ask any of my friends, any of my family members that when they think of a color for me, it's red. Just because I've always... Red is, my, red is my favorite color. So, might as well get the full backpack that's red. So... For the first item, I actually wanted to get, let me just get it really quick, I wanted to get my Switch. I'm not picking the Switch as the first item for my past, since it is for my past. I'm not getting the Switch just because, oh, it's new, it's Nintendo games. No, I'm getting the Switch because... As I was growing up, I did grow up with video games. From I was very little, I loved Nintendo. I actually had like 3DSs, the 3DS, like 3DSs. <laughs> and then I also had a DSi, and then I had a 3DS XL. So like I grew up with Nintendo, I still grew up with the Wii. So I just thought that the Switch would be just perfect because it's... It symbolizes all of them. It's the new, yes, it is the future, like the newest version of like Nintendo and all the different previous like consoles. But I just thought it would be just be perfect just because of how much that I would play DS with my cousins since we all lived in the same area. Literally, like you can walk two steps in your at the other cousin's apartment because we all lived in apartments and it was really close so we would all get our ds's run to like the little um stage area that we had where we grew up and we would all go there literally sit in a circle and start like make sure that everyone had the same game we would always play mario party and just and just play together we would yes we would like fight a little bit we lost here and there but that's what i thought picking the nintendo switch as my past would be perfect just because it symbolized my childhood with my cousins and my friends that lived in the same apartment building as we did before i moved so that's why i picked the nintendo as my past item so i'm gonna put this in the bag the next item I actually wanted to do was, was actually my makeup. I, well, something with the present. So the present would be makeup. I actually really love makeup. Since, since middle school, I would start doing my eyebrows, specifically the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pomade and the angle brush and I would always do my eyebrows they're currently not done but it's just something that I'm also known for just to always have makeup and enough and if not my whole entire face with makeup I would just have my eyebrows and I was just known for my eyebrows I was known for having good eyebrows and I would say that this is something for the present just because of how much I did dedicate myself to um styling my eyebrows getting to know my eyebrows doing different styles making sure if they were not too dark not too thick not too thin not too light making sure that i picked the right color for my hair that matches with my eyebrows just making sure it was natural i do when you experiment with makeup and especially eyebrows and especially the dub dip pomade it can get a bit carried away for you to go very dark and very blocky and so it's like it's literally like right here dark so i did have my face where 
I thought I was so good with makeup, thought I was so good with my eyebrows, and I would make them thick, I would make them dark, I would make them like block. So I would choose this as my present just because I'm still learning with makeup. I'm, st I'm still learning how to do my eyebrows every single day, learning if they're styled correctly, making sure they look a bit more natural. So I do pick this as my present since I do still love doing my eyebrows and I'm still known for my eyebrows. So I'm gonna put it in the bag as my present. And the future, I actually want to choose my glasses as well as my contacts. The whole reason why I wanted to that I wanted to describe that as my future was because me wearing glasses and me wearing my contacts are always going to be something that I'm going to have to do in my future just because I personally I did this to myself I thought glasses were cool back then and I would force myself to sit in front of the TV and make my eye, my vision worse so because of my mistake and because of my doing I have to live with this for the rest of my life so it would be the future and it's just something I'm gonna have to struggle with but also like to symbolize that in order for me to see and to witness my future and witness how every day is gonna go never knowing what to predict it's like I need these to see the future as a way <laughs> but also it's just something i'm always gonna have to live with so in the future it's just something that will worsen or get better so i don't know since that is the future plus i do hope that my vision gets a bit better and that i can do lasik surgery for my eyes so that is something i do plan to do on on the future so I just chose my glasses. Well, it, being able to see is something as my future, since I do hope to get LASIK surgery and be able to see without putting on contacts or wearing glasses. So, easily represented in the bag. So, all those three things is a little bit about me. The switch as my childhood. And eyebrows could be present me growing like getting to start being a teenager adult era and being able to see as something that i hope that i can be able to do in the future and get lasik surgery and just hopefully see how life is going to be as hopefully as a mom as a wife yeah, so thank you so much for watching my little old bag about me. Thank you.